I have a bunch of kids entering the workforce that say, I don't like to work past four o'clock. You want to be successful in what you do. You're supposed to be first in the morning and close up shop. Somebody will notice that. And Judge Judy says it's uh, the Gen Z they're noticing isn't appreciating that. That age group runs from 12 to 27. And to hear the good judge talk about it and a lot of bosses, that is the most unreliable workforce on the planet. I don't know if my next guest agree. Gigi Robinson, creator, economy expert, Gen Z herself. Ali Breen joins us, comedian extraordinaire, millennial, I guess. So a tad more time to sort of reflect on all of this. So, uh, Gigi, let me ask you, uh, is your generation worthless? I don't think my generation's worthless. I think that Gen Z grew up as the first digitally native generation and we're used to information fast and we're used to information and work and getting back to people within seconds. And so I think that, you know, are we worthless? No, no. but do we have our work cut out for us in terms of traditional workforce? Absolutely. Okay, you're no boomer, young lady. That's all I'll say. I'm kidding. <laughs> Ali, what do you make of all this, the back and forth on whether that, that group is up to the job? I mean, I think it's our own fault that they might not be. We're letting them graduate basically with a major in vegan arts and a minor in Taylor Swift at this point, <laughs> and we're paying off all their loans after that's done. I mean, th this generation is expecting to get their dream job. They want gluten-free options in the cafeteria. They want to sit on yoga balls while they work. And the and problem I with think that they is, if they don't get that, okay. <laughs> Productivity, apparently, you end up like a Sam Bankman Freed. <laughs> oh man, man. But Gigi, I, I guess yeah. a lot of these bosses are saying you, you can't be corrected. You're very sensitive to that. You don't like anyone telling you what to do. By the way, I've heard various generations, of, you know, uh, targeted for that sort of thing. But how do you feel about that? That maybe you're being unfairly targeted. I think part of the issue is in communication. As I mentioned before, young kids, specifically Gen Z, is known as the loneliest generation. And so when you take a generation that's already struggling with communication with their peers and you expect them to just fit in normally or not have any problems at work, I think that's where the disconnect with, is, with this whole thing is. And I think that uh, we have to take better care of young people's mental health and also the older people in the workforce need to communicate maybe in newer ways and or teach younger people how to communicate in older ways, which they All might right, be Real resistant. quickly, Ali, that sounds like you not doing your job. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, I guess my generation's used to actually writing emails and Gen Z is responding in GIFs and emojis, which is probably good for communication off of the work site. But during work, I mean, you don't want to approve multi-million deals with like a thumbs up or a winky face. So there is probably a bit of a disconnect and there's probably middle ground that we can all reach. But um, yeah, there's a divide right now for sure. All right. Well, again, uh, you, you, you know, you're not exactly boomers yourselves, but I mean, you're trying. Keep at it. I'm proud of both of you. Um, thank you very much for that. Really, we wanted to make light of this, but not too much light of it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.